we have to use a special uh, CPU designed to resist uh, to uh, space uh, radiation. But uh, such a CPU are very slow compared to a standard PC uh, or compared to your smartphone. Software must be robust because uh, even if we have a, a reset button uh, in space, nobody would be here to press it. We've uh, followed a very strict validation approach and an incremental one. So basically we've moved from PC simulations to uh, space hardware, we've replayed sensor data and to actual real sensor data using uh, real sensors. The algorithm uh, results are the same uh, in the simulation or in the space CPU. And now we have to, uh, to test with the real data in the real environment. It is why we use a, a real sensor, a camera, an EMU. If you want to know where you are located on the map, you can uh, refer to a map and match elements from this map uh, with portion of the image and inverse uh, the projection problem. This uh, is a classical technique which will uh, estimate uh, accurately the position of the camera on the moon. These bodies are mostly covered with dust, uh, which has a very specific way of reflecting light. And because of this, um, we have to, um, to make lots of simulations in order to validate that our algorithm works not only on images uh, we use for testing on Earth, but also on images with, with the same properties uh, as the images on the Moon or on Mars. This technology will fly into space in 2023, but we do hope that in uh, different missions we'll have the opportunity to make it fly sooner, onboard drones for example.